Welcome to Movie Phone. If you're that old, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're that old, you're probably watching this. I got, like, a comment once, and it was like, You're over 50. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, okay. Really? You know, yeah, you know more. Okay, no, that's all right. Don't even argue with people like that anymore. Yeah, I'm over 50. I had no choice in the matter. You know, when a mommy and daddy love each other very much, you know, I'm just trying to make light of the situation because tomorrow I'm going in for the triple bypass, which is uh, not as fun as a triple bacon cheeseburger. But, uh, you know, I don't know. What are you going to do? I'm just uh, putting down as much on the computer thing that I can because uh, I'm over 50 and I call it a computer thing and the interwebs confuses me because I'm old. I'm, what do you do? I don't know what to do. I'm just nervously trying to, you know, get shit together because I'm going to be held up, hold up, held it up, hold it up. I don't know. Let's ask the millennials because they fucking know how to spell. Welp. Hopefully it'll take me a couple, three weeks, four weeks maybe to be able to drive again so I can go back to fucking work. <laughs> because we live paycheck to paycheck and it's gonna be a little thin It'd be like jumping from stone to stone, but like Ooh, uh, In the meantime, I had to shave my face completely and It's really showing how much weight I've lost and how much older I am. Yeah, I'm over 50 Go fuck yourself, okay? I really like the, the light um, early in the morning at 6.37. It's like this sort of skim milk, like bluish light. It's kind of neat. I like that. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I got a top fan badge on my book of faces from Elmo. But I did not get one from Tickle Me Elmo because I think he's still mad at me. The weakest link in the in this chain, the medical chain, like the surgeon is awesome, this guy, and the hospital and whatever, and the, for all the faults of the system. But uh, the weakest fucking chain, part of the chain, is the pharmacies. Um, there's a lot of other things that you know you have to deal with, like pre-registration. You know, I have like I had like five doctor's appointments, whatever. Um, pre-register. I know what registration is, you know, like when I show up there, it's like, register, okay, I'll register, I'm here, now I'm going to go to my car, and at that point, it's post-registration, right? Pre-registration is like, before you register, you need to register, but what if I have to pre-register my pre-registration? That then it gets into like time space continuum problems. I already I'm getting the text messages. Are you sure you want to show up to the appointment? Yes. Yes I do. Yes, I know people like call out, but you know, I'm I'm pretty sure at this point, yeah, I'm gonna be there. Um and then when you get there, they're like, do you have any, you know, symptoms? They go through the usual thing. And, of course, we live in a world post-COVID post where you have to, you know, it's still, you know, and this, actually, it's not really post-COVID. We're still, you know, still a thing. It's just not killing as many people. Um, but they ask you the whole thing, you know, have you had flu? Or have you been around people with the flu? I don't know. You know, I didn't ask them over at Walmart and was like, excuse me. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't. I don't, I guess not. Then they have this thing now where they um, have you sign a consent form. Consent to be treated and consent to bill your insurance company. You know, I'm like, my mere presence, you know, as wonderful as it is, should be consent enough. You know, if I didn't consent, I wouldn't fucking be here. Usually, like, I'm a little combative when it comes to the healthcare thing because I know you get charged for this and charged for that. And if, you know, the anesthesiologist, is that a really thing? I, that, I don't know what they're called now. Anyway, if they're not in network, you know, then you get a bill, separate bill from them. Like, I'm going to have to be, like, on the, um, you know, you know, before surgery and I have to like, you know, is everyone, is everyone in plan? Is everyone doctors, nurses, CNAs, everyone, are you in my network? Uh, okay. Anesthesiologist, not in the network. Okay, buddy. 
you know, I, I can't afford this. Let's get someone in network. I have to call him up. He said he's a day off. We call him up. Call him up. I want an in network, uh, you know, phlebotomist. Make sure the phlebotomist. I love that word, phlebotomist, is in network because otherwise I'm gonna get, you know, billed. I'm gonna get billed anyway. If the water in the basement leaks, you gotta like make sure you get some towels over there because it'll like leak onto the carpet over there. So you gotta make sure you take care of that. And then, um, you know, I'll go to the dump when I can, but right now just take the trash, put it underneath the porch. Hopefully the animals won't be at it at this time of the season, unless I camp out here in the living room, which would be awkward. It'd be like, oh. Hopefully I'll be back making another video at some point, but right now I'm just going to kind of chill out because I need to gather all of my cassettes, I mean my thoughts, so I will make sure that when I'm in the hospital I will have a portable 8-track uh, player in there. Mm -hmm.